Welcome back to the end of playthrough of Elden Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And check out our drip, man. I finally found a combination that I like with this chess piece. And we are sitting pretty good. So this is the Great Horn headband, which is dropped from the shamans down below in the Seal for Your Well. And then this item, this Rotten Gravekeeper cloak, I think looks really fantastic with this sword. And then we have the Alberic's Bracers because I did get the Rotten Duelist Greaves, but I just don't have the arm piece that they have. I don't even know that that exists. I don't even know if there's Rotten Gravekeeper Bracers or whatever. And I don't think there's a headpiece either because there's a hood sort of built into this that they can wear that we do not. But I think we're looking good, man. The only other thing I thought that looked okay with it was was these. But I don't know. I, I kind of like how the red on these just really kind of complements the rest of it, the red crystals. So I think we look good. And the horns in particular go well with this set. It makes our character look almost like this wicked demon girl or something. And then obviously the sword looks great with it. So yeah, we're sitting pretty good. I really, really enjoy this setup quite a bit. So... Welcome to the Halig Tree. It, where the hell did you come from? He was not there a second ago. That was interesting. Um, welcome to the Halig Tree. This is going to be... Yeah. You don't trade with me, man. You're going to get got. This particular level is quite devastating. It is punishingly difficult. There's a lot of challenges waiting for us here. And that guy is already coming for me. What? I didn't even do anything. All right, we got to prep for this guy. I did not think that this fight was about to happen so quickly. Uh, this dude's tough. But not for us. Yeah. We are going to tear through this place like shit through a goose. It's going to be great. Ooh, the Iron Greatsword. That's the first time we got that drop from that guy. So this is not a remarkable weapon. It's just a strength scaling greatsword. It looks really cool. And you can actually see it... Um, in armories and on walls used as decoration. You can see it in almost every castle in the game. It's a super iconic weapon, and I really like the way it looks. I think it's it's great. It's a little bit heavy. <clears throat> it weighs 12 units, which is kind of extreme for just a regular greatsword. And it does have good base damage, though. But it still isn't as good as like Claymore, though. I feel like Claymore just does better. You can get more damage out of the Claymore. So, all right. I guess we're just getting into it, man. We are in the heat of battle. It's, uh... It's time to rock. So our common enemies here in the beginning portion of the Halig Tree is going to be Misbegotten. And then we're also going to have those guys. These, like, fungus guys that wander around. And they do exactly what all of their other counterparts across the game do. They grab onto you and they do a lot of damage. Steal your FP. It's not good. But that's not a problem for us because... What have I been saying this entire playthrough, man? We ain't gonna get got. You stick with me, and you'll never get got. So there's a little bit of foreshadowing right there. We have some ants to deal with. Those are the only ants, thankfully. We're not gonna have to deal with any more than those two or three that are just kind of going right there. And then as we progress through the level, um, right there is kind of what we're working towards, that platform. And then as we get down here, we're actually gonna deal with some spirit caller snails that will summon crystallians. And then going past that, I think from right here, we should be... Something just died. We should be able to see the boss room. Almost. Okay, almost. Just, just on the other side of the tree here, we'll see the boss room. And that's where we're going to fight Loretta. So let's go up first. We'll go down second. These mushroom guys up here want to grab onto you. But if we just kind of hang out right here, they should fall. They should fall. I said they should fall. Fall. Now. Wow. They usually don't get stuck on the ladder like this. I've had success with making these guys fall down in the past. Alright, I guess not. Um, I don't want to get grabbed, though. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. He's glitching. Go, 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 go. Just a little further. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Gentlemen. Okay, fine. Let's just do this. I know what you're thinking. They're just... They're just like wandering fungus dudes. 
And then there's just a misbegotten. I'm telling you, man, you gotta be careful with these guys because they will do a lot of damage. So I kind of want to thin their numbers out just a little bit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> he falls after you hit him. Okay. So that's probably what I'm going to have to do. I'm probably just going to have to shoot him with arrows first, maybe. And then... Yeah, we'll just use arrows since we have plenty. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do this. Hello? Fine. Maybe since they're walking away from the ladder, we'll be fine. Um... In this level of the game, these are like the most souped up misbegottens you'll find. So they do the most damage here. And then paired with these kind of mushroom wandering guys, it can be pretty bad. So we are going to deal with them smart way and not get super overwhelmed. These guys have a lot of health. You don't want to get grabbed. Okay, rot grease. That's good. And then for this part, be careful. Just kind of hop off right here. All right. Now, there's more than one way to get to basically everything in this part. There's, like, two separate ways you can approach just about every every rooftop and get every item. Um, all right. For this part, I think I'm going to just Giants Flame them. It should be the most damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was beautiful. <laughs> if I had just been smart and buffed first, we probably would have done even more. But, alas, it's just going to cost us a second Giant's Flames. Get off. <sighs> this is the part you don't want to happen, is you don't want to get grabbed. Really annoying. Super annoying. It's okay. We'll just Taker's Flame them. It's fine. Finish him with an arrow. That costs no FP. Okay. Really? Alright, let's do this. Oop. Come on. That's it. There we go. Almost fell off. That would have sucked. Probably would have died, but... Maybe not, but still. Would have been inconvenient. We don't want that to happen at all. <clears throat> okay, so we have another ladder over here that will take us down. But we don't want to do that. We actually want to go up because there's going to be an interesting spot that we can jump to up here. with some good stuff. It's going to be over there, I think. Yeah, we got to go back where we already were, but that's okay because we have the branch right here. So everything is fine. Everything will be fine. Oh, no, we can't get back up. Never mind. Okay, that's fine, because we literally were just right here. Roll! No, I'm gonna... God, that was a terrible idea. I shouldn't have done that at all. Come here. Okay. One backstab will do it with these guys. I like that. Not what I wanted to do. Cool. That's it. Come on. Now they do this really nasty double grab that I super don't like. Alright. So we're going to climb up here just one more time. And then we're going to make this interesting little leap across. And I think what should be waiting over here for us is Stone Sword Key. I'm pretty positive. I really like our drip, by the way. Wow. Especially now that she's covered in blood and stuff. <laughs> It's pretty ominous. Oh no, it's the Pearl Drake Talisman. So this guy, this is going to raise all of our defenses that are not physical. So yeah, man, check that out. Vastly boosts non-physical damage negation. That's good, man. So if you're not sure what damage type the enemy uses, or if maybe they potentially use more than one type, which is, there's going to be a couple bosses in this game you come across that are like that. Uh, that is a very good sort of all-in-one talisman that will help with that. So let's aim for the misbegotten. Let me use this. That generally gets rid of all of them. No! Don't push me off, God. I just barely didn't roll in time. Like, I knew he was there. I knew that was coming, but I usually roll that and... Bye! <laughs> Alright, so as you run through here, some of these places, they're gonna be like 
waiting around the corners, and they just sprint out and grab you. Like right here, there's going to be another one, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm misbegotten. So, let me tell you what's really great about going through this part is this. Uh, just barely didn't dodge that in time. Whoa! Why didn't I roll? What? I didn't roll! Bro, I swear my thumb hit the fucking circle button. What the hell? God, that was lame. Whatever. Anyway, um... Wow! That was so dumb, dude. I literally hit the button. Like, I don't even understand how that happened. Absolutely not. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, let's let's fix this, shall we? And thank god the big guys don't come back. So, red guys, you don't have to worry about. But, stupid mushroom guys are a different story. We have to worry about them all over again, which is bogus, but whatever. Um, so, let's do that. Let's deal with them. I cannot believe that just happened, man. Like, I literally was, like, hitting the circle button with my thumb... I wonder if this controller is just, like, broken at this point, if it's just not working. Because, like, it's starting to... It's starting to drift really bad. Both analog sticks, as a matter of fact. Alright, let's aim for the misbegotten. And that'll get all of them, and then this guy's gonna come running out. Come on. That was so dumb, man. I'm so angry about that. Like, <laughs> what a waste of time. Like, what a pointless death. All right. What I was trying to say is the nice thing about this part is you can put these guys to sleep. I don't know how many it'll take. That many. Okay, four. But that's the nice thing about this part is you can put the misbegotten to sleep. Thank you. I only need one more of those, and I can upgrade the cross Dunganata again. And then we're going to do the same thing with this guy. I think Mighty Shot will probably do a better job putting them to sleep. Might take only two. Okay, no, you're still going to... Three minimum, and that's with two Mighty Shots. Alright, so what I recommend with these guys is just to save ourselves some FP. We're not going to waste our FP on Taker's Flame against these guys. Especially because we don't need to heal right now. But... We'll check over here. Yeah, there's this guy. We want to we want to put that guy to sleep so we can deal with this guy first. So nothing nothing interrupts us from taking this guy down. We can get these guys with just like two charge attacks, which is good. So yeah, Taker's Flame is going to be more ideal when there's an overwhelming group of enemies in front of us, and then also if we don't have full health. So I try to be like slightly more strategic with that ability. I could have swore there was another one of those guys out here, but I guess not. I'm fine with that. It's kind of dark. Sorry. All right. Moving on. I don't think we missed anything up there, did we? I know there was an item, but we grabbed it, right? Yeah, okay. We're good. Moving on. So, we already saw this part before. I almost missed that. This is that big ladder that we saw that we could have taken down, but we changed our mind. God, look at that. That was just one of those bolts, man, and it did that much damage to me. Absurd. All right, so now is going to be an opportune time to use Taker's Flame, because for one, this enemy sucks. Like, these flowers are the worst. So let's do that, shall we? I should really be buffed for this because... Oh, God. Alright. Yeah, Taker's Flame is just the answer for these guys, man. It's, don't know why you would use anything else. Let's do this. Because, like, even buffed, this ability... Okay, 2,500 versus what? 3,900. Okay, yeah, it's like... No way. 
Okay, that's still going to cast even if it dies, so it's not worth it to sit there and try. You'll die if you try to stop us. Don't really know why I'm picking up these butterflies. I don't need them, but... Shiny. Alright. And you can take that ladder to get back up there, or you can take this one. It really doesn't matter. There's a different strategic advantage to each one, but they are both just as good as the other. So... This one will lead us right here, and then we can backstab this guy or whatever, and we can kind of jump in through the window, and you know, you can you can treat this part however you want, but the only thing you need to make to make sure that you do for this part, in particular, is you want to make sure you get rid of these guys before that red guy wakes up, man, because he's gonna wake up and he's gonna get angry and give you a hard time. So, let's do this. This should one-shot him. Good. Wow, that was easy. Thanks, man. You're the best. Ancient Dragonsmithing Stone. So, that's a goodie. Don't want to miss that. I always look over these open ledges just because. Like, you never know. Could be missing something. Um... Always peek around the doorways in here, like, every single time. Okay, this guy in particular, I think we should be able to just get rid of him. Like, maybe knock him off the... No, okay, he's got too much poise. That's fine. My turn. Alright, how about through here? Another one? No? Okay, fine with me. And I don't think there should be any more red guys either. Here we go. This is where they were. Um, trying to think. What can I do to hit these guys from around the corner? This usually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! There we go. Looks like a trap. Yes! So, wait, now that's a somber. I didn't need that. <laughs> I can buy those. Okay, now we need to... Um, this level is always shorter than you think, man. It's always shorter than you think, so... It's like, I feel like I'm missing things, but I doubt I am. <laughs> but we're gonna check anyway. We're just gonna, like... Okay, that's the room we just came out of. That's gonna be the next grace. That's where the ants are, and then next is gonna be spirit summon snail things. Okay, no, we're not missing anything. I thought I skipped, like, a, a whole platform or something for some reason. But I think we're okay. Alright. Stupid-ass ants, man. No, do not fight them from this bridge. Just because you have this vantage point and you're above them doesn't mean they can't hit you. They will launch butt acid at you, and it is not good. At least get the grace first before you try that. You'll regret it. Because you have two things to worry about in that scenario. One is when they start shooting at you, and they will, you need to dodge. And if you dodge... Let's see. If you dodge, you have to worry about rolling off the bridge, which would suck. But then... Alternatively, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach them with this attack, but I'm going to try, because it just does the most damage. Like, out of most of my throwable attacks, like, the Heapy My Blast is good, don't get me wrong, that does a bunch of damage, but this has an explosion. Oh my god, it worked. Sick. Alright, that versus this, let's see what happens. Oh, this will do it too. Okay, that's better range. Perfect. We'll deal with those guys. And yes, there's a safe way to get down there. You don't have to jump over this. Or you don't have to go down around and take the branch that, that loops down. You can honestly just do this. No! Alright. Do it a little better than I did because... Shoo! That was bad. <laughs> Maybe get a running start. Stupid butterflies. They shouldn't be purple, man. If you're gonna give me butterflies, you should just give them to me in the form of butterflies. Like this. Quit luring me into danger with shinies. 
Okay. Like, going down the... You can see it loops around. Going down this little branch in front of us is, like, the normal way to do this. You know what I really wish there was in this game? Was, like, a version... See, look at this, man. They have their back turned to you and everything. It's a trap. I really wish there was a version of Wrath of Gold in this game, or, like, Wrath of the Gods, but it was fire damage. That'd be sick, dude. guys have like entirely too much health for no reason i don't know why somber smithing stone tier nine okay i'll take that i don't have very many of those all right here we go do you see what's happening we have crystallians and spirit collar snails so you can jump and shoot in this game which is kind of weird i think that's a great feature <laughs> because it is like perfectly inconveniently located on the other side of that roof so maybe we can just do this you know try to maximize our efficiency until we can't hit it anymore. Because you don't want to fight the Crystallians. That's the problem with this part. You want to fight the stupid snail. Because as soon as you destroy the snail, that's what will cause the Crystallians to go away. Until that one shows up. Now you got to go for this one. There we go. Alright. Do not waste your time on the Crystallians. Don't do it. Uh, oh god. Never seen that one spawn in that doorway right there. It's kind of weird. No, stay trapped. Leave me alone. Perfect. We have quite a few souls, man. We should probably level up before we go into the boss room because I'm not entirely sure that I will beat her on the first try. Okay, so. Don't try to jump to that. I tried a couple times and I died. It's kind of hard. I think I hear a scarab by the way. So, jump to this one. Do I hear a scarab? I don't remember there being a scarab in this part. Hmm. This, this adventure has been riddled with surprises. Love it. Alright, let's do this, shall we? Maybe we can... Well, I was going to say we could, like... physics. There we go. I was going to say maybe we could, like, Giants Flame them, but I don't think we have to. I think Taker's Flame is fine for this part. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. They're done. No. Okay, if we're buffed, we can kill these guys in two hits. That's nice. There's how you get up to that. Is this ladder. It's rotten, man. It's rotten trickery, but I hear him. Where is he? I hear him. He's right under my nose. He's got to be inside this, this room underneath us. That's what it is. He's beneath us. Okay. That's fine. We'll get there in just a second. I want to go up here first, though. Okay. Do we, though? Oh, yeah, that's right. You gotta jump across. Nasty. Nasty. I don't recommend doing that right here, either. Like, at all. I highly recommend you make that jump from right here. But before we do that, I gotta figure out where this scarab is. I hear him. There he is. Okay. I don't think we need him because we haven't had to heal yet. No, you can't open this door. Doesn't it seem like you can? Undead Berg Syndrome. Alright, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll make our way in there. We'll get in there in just a second. Okay. So now let's make this jump over here, which is incredibly tricky. Um... So it's really weird, like, you almost guarantee you won't make this jump and will die unless you hop from the center here, where it is highest. Like, the tip of the triangle, if you will, is what I'm trying to say. You need to be at the point of the arc on this roof, because if you try to jump from a lower point, like this, or this, you will die. 
Ask me how I know. There we go. Um, no traps. Doesn't look like, at least. So instead of wasting our FP, let's just put these guys out with like one hit. Easy peasy. Not bad. I hear more of them, though. Yep, one's coming right at us, and then another one is waiting around the corner, I think. Okay. Cool. Alright, and that is for our endurance. So this guy... We have, okay, all the way up to plus one on those. And then we have all three of the blue one as well. So yeah, this will raise our maximum stamina. Uh, that'll probably go on during the millennia fight. All right. Um, it'd be really cool if we could open one of these doors, man. It'd be a nice little, a nicely placed secret. It would... And there shouldn't be anything else you can do here. So what we'll do is we will jump back across. Ah, Wrath of Gold will get through there and kill that guy, but... Unfortunately, <clears throat> we don't have the means right now. So to get over there, I think we need to... What do we need to do to get over there? Do we need to drop down over here? Yeah, I think there's a ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's do this for this part. Let's be super... Oh, I think there's a guy. No? Okay. Good. Then what, Hold on. What's in this one? Okay, just more misbegotten. All right. So let's be smart, shall we? Let's, uh, oh god. I guess we don't need to put him to sleep because we don't have to worry about fighting multiple enemies. We just take him down. I don't want to startle the beetle, though, because we... Nah, we're at full health, dude. I don't even care. Yeah, we don't really need him that bad. Yeah. Knew that was going to happen. Cool. Got some health back. Sacramento Bud. Yeah, we didn't even need that. All right. And then... Ah, uh, what the hell. I'll fall into FromSoft's trap. I know they want you to go right for the beetle because something's going to happen. Until it doesn't. Fine with me. All right. <laughs> I ain't mad. So that's this whole undercarriage room. And we're going to go down this side. No trap? Okay. Okay, there is, though. So we go for this guy, right? That guy's going to come running. Oh, I was hoping I would knock him out of the air and send him flying. That would have been really satisfying. All right. And then... What do you get for jumping out onto that branch? I don't think you get anything. There's some butterflies out there, but it's super dangerous because we have hues to deal with. Like, we have two of them. And I really don't think there's anything you can do to knock them down either. Like, I'm going to see... But, like... Uh, I don't know. My preferred way to deal with these guys is honestly to pull that one and then just smoke him on the bridge with my highest damage attack. Like, Taker's Flame would be ideal. It'll knock him down. Like, that for sure I know will knock him down. But you'd be smart to use Barrier of Gold because we know what Hughes is capable of and we know what his damage type is. But I don't, I don't need it. I'm just going to, like, I'm going to do what works, man. Oh, come on. Why isn't that working? 
Oh god, nope. Wall, protect me. Nope. The wall does not care for me at all. Alright, fine. We're gonna have to get a little bit creative here. That still didn't work! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Nope, I'm dead. Yeah! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, go! There we go. God, see, this is the best way to deal with this part. It's just knock him down, because knock him off the bridge, and then what? He's dead. Easy peasy. Well, except it's not. God. He has, like, Spider-Man footing. That was scary. All right, that didn't go anywhere near as pretty as it was supposed to. <laughs> There's a stealthier way you can do this. Like, if you go out on that branch, you can kind of, like, creep around, and you can you know, backstab them or whatever to give yourself an edge, but, like, don't do it. Don't do it. Why isn't that working? Alright. This is very strange. I need to knock you down. Thank you. Jeez. That was awful, man. That didn't go anywhere near as smooth as it was supposed to. <laughs> Okay, seven. That's good. I'll probably need those at some point. And then running through here, there should be this item, and then I think there's one on the outside too, maybe? No? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so the appeal of that part, though, is like, right where those butterflies are, you can jump out the window, and you can kind of sneak around, and then the one that comes and patrols up here, you can either fight him in this tight space, which I don't recommend, or you can kind of do what I did and just try to, like, fight them on the bridge and use that that room that we came from as cover. That's kind of, like, smarter and <laughs> a little less dangerous. You wouldn't know that because of the way I demonstrated it, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm not very good at this game. You get what you get with me. So you're going to be tempted to just run to the boss, right? You're going to be like, all right, I made it to the boss. Let's do this. Don't do that. Activate this shortcut because this is going to be a nice little way to get back down to the boss easily. Or back up to the beginning of the level. Like, one is going to be a shortcut to the other. And it's up to you to decide which is which. So. Okay. So. Here's what I'm going to do for this part. I didn't use any of my sleep pots in this level, which is fine. But what I'm going to do for this fight is... Ooh, I did... I did max this guy out, though. So our Frenzy Flame Seal is... Wait, I showed you guys that. I don't know why I'm telling you that. I showed you that. <laughs> um, I did max out the Crystallian Ashes while I was off screen. This is going to be my Spirit Summon for this fight. Because the Crystallian Ashes is really good for anything that does magical damage. Loretta is not going to do a whole lot of physical damage in this fight. I mean, she does have the War Scythe and she will attack you physically. But I kind of recommend the Crystallian for this fight because it's very resilient to magic damage. And I think it's going to it's gonna draw her attention too because it throws shit. Like it'll do uh, ranged attacks with that sharp crystal disc thing, and it should keep Loretta's attention while we really lay the hammer on with our fire damage. So I'm going to try to use Giant's Flame Take Thee in this fight. I'm going to try to give that a shot. But as you can see, Loretta is not in ghost form for this fight, or Spirit Ash form she looked like. Okay, those are still going for me, I had a feeling. Okay, that did all right. This sword is going to do way better, though. You'll see what I mean in a second. Come on, that's it. Hit her! Okay, so Crystalline is not hitting Loretta very easily. <laughs> I, had a, I thought she would hit her easier, but that is not the case. I guess I'm going to have to try to, like, kite her a little bit. There we go. This will do better. Oh, yeah. And then you can also stagger Loretta. Like, she's got uh, a stagger. Okay, those are going for me. It's fine. That's it. You do your little spinny spinny jam thing. 
Okay, and then that has multiple arrows, so you gotta be real careful around this time around with that. Okay, I need to rebuff as well. And that crystalline can take some serious hurt, man. Like that thing can take a punishing. So once we get her around half health or so, she should start doing like a she'll do like a magic sort of AOE thing that will look at that. That did like no damage because it's pure magic. She should now do the seal. Yep, there we go. So she'll get a damage buff. Ugh! And then she'll do that, which is not pretty. But that attack will kill you in like one hit, so you really gotta be careful. Okay, she's wide open after that, which is good. Oh god. That, you can't sidestep, you have to roll. Oh, that still hit her. Okay, those. She launches more of them at you now. <laughs> Which is not good. You have to be careful. Come on, Crystalline. You can do it. There we go. Try to get another Taker's Flame. There we go. Oh, shit. I'm out of FP, though. That's okay. Once Crystalline gets her attention, I'm just gonna... Oh, shit. Aye! There we go. Yes! You see that? She didn't even get Crystalline down a quarter of her health. <laughs> So you get two really, really good things from that fight. You get the Loretta's Mastery, which is the adult version of that existing Great Bow Sorcery that we've already seen when we went into the, the Carrion Study Hall. When we had that, uh, well, you need to check the hat to know what they're called. The Preceptor. So the Preceptor that we fought in there, who was a woman, I believe, um, use that bow attack, and it's like the worst part of that level is having to dodge that, that super magic arrow. But as you saw Loretta use a second ago, it's like a triple version of it. So we can level up twice. Let's get our endurance up. Uh, yeah, I think we need to start worrying about more endurance because I think by the time I get to millennia, I want it to be at 40. So I don't want to do that. Um... We'll keep this on for now. It's going to come in serious handy. I was really dumb for not casting that in the fight, but I was more worried about damage, I think. And, uh, I don't know. I guess I believed in myself. <laughs> I was like, nah, I can dodge these arrows. I ain't worried. I ain't going to get got. So that went well. That didn't take very long. Um, not a super difficult fight. Certainly more difficult than when you fight her at the Carrion Manor, but... I don't know, man. Crystallion makes that fight go by super smooth. You know, the Crystallion is really good for a lot of fights, but that one in particular. And this chest right here, we for sure want to get. We do not want to skip that. We're also going to get a Talisman upgrade down here that we for sure don't want to miss. We're going to get the Great Shield Talisman. Um, what? This is going to take us down into the... El Eiffel, Elfiel, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. There's no NPC in the game that says it. It's not fair. Is there anybody up here? No. Good. Ancient dragon smithing stone. Thank you. All right. I'm super excited for that great shield talisman because it's basically just like the better version of this. We don't have the plus two of this one yet. Like, I think you get that in Crumbling Fair Azula or something. But we want the Great Shield one because it is, in fact, the best. It's going to give us all the physical defense, and we need that. Because this set we're wearing right now, as cool as it looks, and I think I want to rock this for a while just because of how good it looks. But the thing about it, we'll send this back up just for convenience. Hand to check beneath it, right? Okay, no sneaky this time. Um, we really do need all the physical defense that we can get, because we don't have very much of it right now. This set looks great, but just does not do well against physical attacks. I mean, we have exposed skin, for goodness sake. Alright, Clean Rot Knight number one. This is going to be kind of an important determination event right here. We're going to see just how well Taker's Flame does against this guy. Oh my goodness, it does so well. Alright, we're good. I ain't scared. <laughs> we are not going to have any trouble with these guys. I love that a lot. Hmm. 
Now we are going to run into rooms full of them where there's two or three of them at a time, and that's going to be kind of kind of a problem, but we can manage that though. All right, so what are we going to do? We could jump down here and kind of start going down that way, or we could just follow the steps. I think for now I'll follow the steps. We'll get rid of this trumpet guy first, no matter what you do. Okay, kill him with a single backstab. That's good. These are kamikazes, holy kamikazes. We'll deal with them the smart way. Take this flame. Let the flame take all. Um. What I really want to do is, because I know Taker's... I'm going to use Taker's Flame quite a bit through here. We don't need that anymore. Maybe we can do Sleep Pots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I kind of want... To, see, okay. What I want to do is, I really want to make room for this thing. Because it'll make us use less FP every time we use Taker's Flame. But, I don't know. I really like the fact that we heal really well and save flasks by not using it oh whatever we'll just fuck it isn't that the classic lp attitude fuck it fuck it let's go all right let's see what we got waiting for us here so torch guy we have a group of two right here then just above them we have another scout i don't think there's another trumpet guy which is good but in this level it gets a little bit kind of interconnected there's these like little miniature rooms that you can go through while you're traversing the level. And then down there, that giant walkway, we have a big old Erdtree avatar. So he's not going to be a problem. He will be just fine to deal with. Okay, I'm not even going to waste a Taker's Flame on you guys. Y'all are weak. I invented the guard counter, you son of a bitch. You dare use my own spells against me, Potter? Can you guys believe the guy that played Hagrid died? That's really sad, man. Like, I... Okay, so, full disclosure, I'm not, like, a Harry Potter fan. Like, I don't dislike it by any means, but it's not, like... It's not, like, my thing. Like, I didn't get into it, you know? I read a couple of the books in middle school, and... I've seen all the movies, like, maybe once or twice each, if that. But... Alright, we gotta be careful on this part, but... I mean, I always kind of leaned more towards Lord of the Rings. That was always my, like, fantasy landscape, first obsession type thing. Really like Lord of the Rings a lot. But... I can't believe that guy died, man. Like, I, did, I had no idea that he was as old as he was. I mean, it kind of makes sense, because, like... Yes, thank you for that. It kind of makes sense, because, I mean, those movies came out a long time ago, like, early 2000s. I don't like constant reminders of how old I'm getting, either. But... Yeah, man, that's, uh, that's pretty tragic, because... He... He's, like, my favorite person in those movies. He was my favorite character, for sure. I think he did that role incredibly well. All right, here we go. So this is kind of a cool weapon. This is the Mikulin Knight's Sword. Sword forged by servants of Mikul of the Halig Tree, with a design modeled after those carried by Carrion Knights. Instead of glintstone, however, amber from the Halig Tree is embedded in the blade. A sumptuous piece, yet it has never been offered to any knight. An ill-starred sword with no master. And then it has Sacred Blade on it, which is cool. So... This is a straight sword. This is not a great sword. It's a three and a half unit, super light weapon that is super good for just laying damage in. And it's got split damage with holy. It scales poorly with your faith stat. But the nice thing about it is it has a little bit higher, better better scaling with strength and dexterity as you level it up. It should have a B in both if you max it out. And I don't think the faith stat goes up. It might go up to like a D if you're lucky. But this thing's good, man. I've used this on my other character, like just as like a regular like main hand weapon and it's good dude like especially if you're fighting against things that are weak to holy damage it's uh it's quite useful so this part right here you can use this ladder to get down here and face the earth tree avatar directly that's kind of what i recommend because I'm, i don't know man if you've ever played a souls game you know that you need to take every advantage that you can get when you get them right like if you if you have a vantage point against an enemy that you know is going to overpower you if you try to tank them it's like kind of like that thing 
your your instincts are going to tell you to oh yeah let's just get a two from that yes your instincts are going to tell you to try to fight him from far away like well he can't get me i mean i can't beat him one-on-one -on -one. i need this advantage i'm just going to fight him from range don't do that with Urtree Avatar. He'll do that stupid attack where he slams the hammer down and sends all those flying electric bolts at you. Holy damage, whatever they are. And it's not good, man. It'll kill you so fast because this Urtree Avatar could be the strongest one in the game. Like, he's he's bad. Kill this guy. His buddy just did not hear us at all. Love that. Okay. The difference between a bolt and a Lord Sworn bolt. One is clearly has some form of allegiance. <laughs> okay, and then we got those guys. So we're just kind of working our way down. E, don't want to fall. What in the hell? You're not allowed up here. I mean, come if you dare. But <laughs> here, let me. Uh, let's do this. What in the... I'm not going to be able to get back up if I jump on there is the problem. That was weird. Alright, fine. Then don't. <laughs> I would change my mind against me too. Pussy. Okay, so this is the other way to get down there to the Rootree Avatar. Is you can just kind of like take this down there. And... Again, you don't have a whole lot of cover if you try to fight him otherwise. So, I mean, really, just be smart, you know? Like, once he sees you, he's gonna have- he's gonna give you a hard time. He's gonna start fighting you, but, like, you don't want those giant things flying at you. Like, you really, really don't. So... I just wanted... Oh, there's a hole in that roof? I never noticed that before. That's a whole-ass reason to drop down right there. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> I'm just going to finish these guys off. Like, I know there's a shield guy patrolling right here, but this guy's easy to deal with. Don't run out in front of that room to fight him, though. Just, like, pull him over here. Yeah, there we go. You know how to deal with these guys. We're professionals. Yeah, this is why you don't want to do that, because you got this guy right here, and he's just... He's going to be a dick, man. All right. Come here. Now, strangely, those guys don't stand up, you know, which is great. <laughs> because what you want to do is you absolutely want to get rid of this guy in one hit. Like, this guy can do Royal Knight's Resolve on his his uh, Knight's Greatsword. I think that's what they have. It's either that or a Lord Sworn Greatsword. Um, both of them are bad. You don't want either one of them to hit you while buffed with, with Royal Knight's Resolve because these guys are fully capable of killing you in a single hit. Here's what we do for this part. We do not want to deal with that. Like, those guys explode. It sends you flying, and it does a lot of damage. Alright, so we'll eat through these guys. Ooh, a smithing stone tier 7. And no, there's no way to just, like, run from the avatar. And, like, I mean, you can. You can grab the item and then just run. But he's kind of hard to get away from. You're better off just fighting him. <clears throat> And we do a ton of fire damage, so we have no reason not to. We shouldn't be scared of him. Okay, so triple rings of light. That is, I believe that's going to require intelligence. That's like, uh, what's the genre? Golden Order. Fundamentalist. Yeah, it needs 23 intelligence. Uh, it's cool, though. I mean, it's, it's basically just like the ring of light that we already know of, but it fires three of them. It's quite powerful. Uh, and... There's a reason that the game makes you fight your your way here before you can have access to it because it's quite good, and they don't want you to have it right away. Like that attack can kill Deathbird in like four seconds flat. Um, there's nothing on that platform, I don't think, above us. There's no reason to run back and check, but you can see what I mean though. Like, do you see how there's like these cocoons, these like spider egg looking things that we saw Mikola's arm hanging out of? Very cool details. All right. Uh, there, there's a way in that room. What? Okay. That's interesting. We already found something that I missed. Crap. I don't want to, like... 
Here's the thing, man. I have everything I need to wax this guy from far away. I sh don't have any reason not to do it. But he's gonna do the see. He's gonna do the thing, man. He's just gonna spam it. He's gonna sit there and spam it. Cause he's a jackass. All right, let me just get one on you. See, look at that. That's a lot of damage, man. It's totally feasible to cheese him with this. Except my... I mean, my, my buff won't stay, but... Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna... You really shouldn't fight him like this, because this is a waste of time. You could just go down there and clean him up with... Wow, why am I dancing? You could go down and just clean him up real good with Taker's Flame, which is what I'm... What I really should do, but... I mean, we do so much fire damage with this attack, it's like... Oops. Until we don't. <laughs> I kind of want to see if this will reach him. I know the Giant's Flame won't. Now let me do this. You know, this will not hit him, as a matter of fact. Oh, what a waste. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to free aim it. Yeah, there's no way it's going to reach. Whatever. Get him. There we go. And honestly, these. Okay, there's no way I'll hit him if I lock onto him. We're gonna have to free aim this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get shit on, dude. Alright, the Rotten Staff. I don't even think that's 100% drop. I don't think I got that in my first playthrough. Where is it? Okay, it's a Colossal Weapon. It's Strike Damage. It's got Scarlet Rot, a strength weapon other than the axe that has... <clears throat> okay, that's pretty sick. And it still has the Erd Tree Slam. Wow. Could you imagine getting something that has something... Could you imagine getting a weapon that has a skill called the Scarlet Slam? <laughs> These guys I want to do away with. Oh, the damage. God, yeah, this is like... This is the weapon for this place. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. I'm drying up. I apologize. I can hear that thing fluttering up there. We have an, an, a unique instance where the scarab is flying this time. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's buff up. And let's get their attention. Oh, yeah, that does great. Oh, shit. Until it doesn't. this. Not gonna hit me with that, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! And just because I'm a dick. Hoo-ha! Alright, so this is 100% how I recommend you deal with this part. Get these guys in this room first. You know why? Because they are gonna bombard you. Um, Can't really sneak up on this guy. Can't get behind him, so I'm just gonna do this. There is one out on the ledge, though, I think. Got his armor. We already have that, though. I think there's one out on the ledge here. No? Okay. Good. I don't give a shit, man. Less of those, the better. There is a really annoying crystalline in that room, though, that we're going to have to deal with in a second. Um, Alright. Dealing with the Clean Rot Knight 
Z, plural. Dealing with a clean rot knights the way we just did is 100% the answer for that part. That's what I recommend. That's how I recommend you deal with that part. That's how I recommend you deal with the game, dude. Just Taker's Flame. Taker's Flame everything. Because fuck them. That's why. Okay. And we'll jump down to where the Erdtree Avatar is in just a minute. We can get back. It's, it's no big deal. But what I want to do do is I know there's I'm pretty sure there's clean right night up on this roof and it's bad like it's a bad time so I actually want to get up here first and deal with it okay no I just see a soldier there that's good actually all right I don't think we need nope we got 10 man we don't even need this scarab I wish he was blue da ba dee da ba die I guess we can get him anyway, just because. Alright. I don't have any hatred for those things like I do crystal lizards. It's just not the same. There he is. Okay, that goes through walls. Be careful. That sucked. Don't you dare. I need to take this flame, get some health back. Oh my goodness, that damage. Wonderful. Shield up. Never know what's going to be waiting for you in here. Mimic. Right. Clean Rot Night Ashes. Not super good. They're, I mean, they're good if you summon them against something that needs, like, that extra holy damage. But that's not going to be a regular thing, though, which is nice. All right, this is kind of dangerous. So, like, you're probably not supposed to jump back that way. You're probably supposed to go this way and, like, proceed. But... Oy. All right, we're going to go back a little bit because... We're going to jump down to where the Erd Tree Avatar is. Which you can get there like this, nice and easy. But if you recall, there was something over in this giant pillar over here. And we want that. I saw a little doorway. I saw the body there. I saw his little feet. Pretty sure there's an item in there, and I did not know that, so we need to go get it. Can I just roll? Okay. Yeah, I feel like if I jumped right there, I would have died. This. What the hell's going on with this? Oh, it's... What? Where does that go? I'm so confused. All right. Running start for this jump every time. Okay, here's one good item out of two. Got a badass rune. And then this down here is what we want. This is what the Erdtree Avatar is guarding. I'm pretty sure this is something important. Like a smithing stone, maybe? Yeah, man. Ancient dragon smithing stone. A somber one. Hell yeah. No, you can't get in here. That'd be really cool, though. Bet you the DLC is going to make you go in there for some reason, maybe. Well, what the hell? I'm really tired of this controller drifting, man. It's starting to get on my nerves. Okay, let's get a look-see, shall we? Look at these flying buttresses, man. Look at all of this. This is like some, some Anne Orlando shit. Um, we can kind of see what's waiting for us down below in this, like, sort of red garden with these small trees. We're going to get some Millicent action down there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then... Yeah, we're going to have to fight our siblings off. It's going to be super difficult. We also have an, our very last ulcerated tree spirit in the game, which is nice. Like, Thank God, right? Um, what else do we have waiting for us down there? God, this, this whole area down here is going to have revenants, which... Oh, boy. That part's going to be very interesting to deal with. We are not ready. So this thing. We have the boon of this thing, but we don't have to equip the flail, I don't think. Right here. Stone of Garonk. Physical damage. That's what we need. But what I want to do is I want to get my damage as high as it can possibly be. So we're going to Golden Vow. Then we're going to... Then we're going to stone. Should only need, like, five. 
of those. We've been interrupted though because we had to take cover. There we go. Oh god, come on. That's fine. Once we get them to this point, I mean they're they're as good as dead, it's fine. We just they stagger so easily, they don't have any hyper armor. Alright. Somberstone tier 9. We definitely needed that. And then from here, you can jump across. I don't recommend doing that at all <laughs> until you take care of those clean rot knights. Don't do it. <laughs> because once you get in here, man, they whew, they will team up on you. You're done. They do a lot of damage. And then this is the lower portion of like where we would continue that was kind of the drop off of like where the beetle was and then yeah so we saw that we saw where we were we we know where we are now now we're gonna take this way there should be some more soldiers in here i think possibly yep what are you doing man oh thank you for the shield and the stone sounds like a really cool book that i'd like to read maybe a video game the stone and the shield. Somebody get to work on that. I need that. Hello. No, sir. There'll be none of that. Would the rest of you like some? There we go. Be a little strategic with it. Always try to aim that so that you can hit as many enemies as possible. That is where it really shines. I really want a Power Stance War Picks now that I've gotten a second one. All right, this is a trap. Uh, guy's got his back turned to you and you're thinking, oh, it's an easy backstab. Nope, that guy is glitched. He's waiting for you with an invisible, I don't even know. If he's got a sword on his back, then what's in his hand? Your imagination is infinite. For this one. So what you can do is you can run forward, backstab him, use the iframes to not get hit. You gotta be careful with that guy. It's a good thing we can kill him in two hits because if you need to, to fight him for like more than two seconds, it can get kind of dangerous because he has quite a bit of hyper armor with the great sword, especially if they have Royal Knight's Resolve. All right, now we need to get down in that room, and that room is uh, more clean rot knights. It's seriously fucking dangerous, so we're gonna have to be careful. Don't go forward on this part. There are ballistas. They have already seen me. They heard me talking about them. What I am gonna do, however, oh come on! I said I wouldn't go over there. Get over it. What we are gonna do though is we want to get rid of that guy. Oh my god! They can't just let it go, man. I said I was. I said I was sorry. I said not to go over there. Like, I was advocating for you guys, all right? I told people not to come over there and fuck with you. Here we are. All right, so what I want to do for this part is I want to lure the clean rot knight out, but I don't want to fall is the problem. Get out of here! Here, we're just going to do this. We're going to de-aggro them. Let's give it a second. What should we talk about while we wait? <sighs> How about this getup, though? I really like it, man. Looks super good. Especially when she gets all dirty and covered in blood and stuff. It just looks great. Like, it's even on the horns and stuff. Fantastic. Looks really good with the sword, too. Alright. That should be enough time. So let's do this, shall we? I don't think you can put Clean Rot Knights to sleep. But we're gonna try. Because that would be, like, super good if you can. But something tells me that they're just going to brush it off and be like, I ain't going to bed. I ain't sleepy. Something tells me they've had their caffeine. Yeah, see, they, they don't give a shit. That sucks. Uh, all right, so the next best thing to do with this part is jar cannon then. Um, I don't think they can jump up and get you. It would really suck if they can. Yeah, they... Okay, they can't. That's good. That's good. Like that a lot. Okay. Even blocks, it still did almost 500 damage. That's awesome. 
Wait, how did the lightning one do less? Are they just completely resistant to it or something? Okay, no, it was... It must have, like, pivoted the guy or something. I don't know how that happened. Okay, yeah, that's, that's doing perfectly well. And we get a super fast reload because we're falling and it's interrupting the animation. Really like that. Alright, and now we gotta get that one out. We could do better on this part if we... You know, we're just gonna do it, yeah. Just just because. It's not gonna cost us anything. Um, the damage, right? The damage one. Yes. Alright, let's do this. There we go. That's quite a bit of damage. <laughs> All right, same deal on this part. We're just gonna... Really take advantage of the fact that we're falling off in this little, like, animation skip <laughs> is super helpful. Forgot you have the kick on that thing. Oh, yeah. What? How did I miss? What in the fuck? There we go. Perfect. And I think there's only two. We're seriously re gonna regret it if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, well, you live and learn. Okay, there's Revenant number one. There's going to be like a total of four of them, I think. Not good. Maybe we can try to hit this guy in the feet? Oh no, we're out. Um, do we have any more? We do not. We have these, though. Okay, let's see if we can hit him in the feet. Yes! <laughs> I'm so glad we upgraded this thing, man. Oh no. You almost had me. Dude, that that worthless buff. Oh my god, dude, that was close, man. I could have been killed. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Okay. I know better than to wander into this room with nothing but a jar cannon. And that's not... Can we use this? Let's switch to this. For a little bit. We need to max this thing out, man. That's what we need to do. Alright. Sword of the Darkness Flame. It's been a minute. I also need to switch back to... What you call it? Uh, need to switch back to Barricade Shield. Because that's super important in this level. It's very important to have here. Okay. Look at these dead, clean, rot knights, man. That's what dreams are made of. This is pure happiness. Warming stone. Imagine going in here and thinking, they must be guarding something insanely good to make you go through this to get it, and it's just that. So we have another flying beetle. Oh god. Nope, I've been found out. Come on. Y'all trying to get Sword of the Darkness flamed, huh? I don't want to use it there, I'll fall down. Oh god, don't see me. You don't see me. How did I miss? Good lord. Really? What chance do you think you have? Look at your friends, man. You're joking. Wow. This guy has, like, Naruto syndrome, man. He's like, nope. Because through the power of simply believing in the completely unreasonable and impossible, I will beat you. <laughs> To be fair, I should have landed that attack. It was like, I don't even know how many hundredths of a second late I was. That should have been like the world's best trade, but I guess not. So let's go back to our damage talisman. We definitely need that. I'm going to max this out as soon as I can. Like probably in this episode. Okay, yeah, we have the right talismans. We're good. Okay. We are to the ballistas, which is good. I don't think they can shoot you from right here, though. They shouldn't be able to see us, but... We need to sneak up on these guys. And get rid of them. Because they're a problem. Die. Thank you. I definitely need more of those. Damn, dude, this thing is weaker than the Blasphemous Blade? That doesn't make sense. Halo Tree Soldier Ashes. 
Never use them. I don't really, I don't really have much to say about them. I wish I could man this and just shoot those guys. Like, that would be so ideal right now. <laughs> like, of course. Alright, let me see if I can... I really want to do a twofer on these guys. Of course the game is not going to let me have that. Why would it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's try one more time. Are you serious? The tree? Wow. It's awful. Okay, let's do this then. Let's put him to sleep. Okay. Now we can finish him. Do not try to fight that guy from right here. Don't do it. He will use that attack. You know the one I'm talking about. And you have almost no cover up here. Like you have to hide around this corner or whatever. And it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> You're going to regret it. I promise. So what I want to do now is I got to get over there. Because yeah, okay, I know what to do. It's just the ballistas that were stopping us before. Wait a minute. No, we can't get up. We have to go this way. Okay. Now it's all coming back. I remember. I remember! Okay, we don't want to get this guy's attention, though. It'll be real sneaky. I'm going to go that way. We'll get to the grace. But before we do any of that... Okay, yeah, see, we have the guy sitting in a chair up there. That's going to be another... What you call it? Uh, seedbed curse. That we got to get. So let's go get the grace... First, we're just gonna hit. Who's in here? I think this is a piece of knight armor. Yeah, man, Helictree Knight Helm. Good thing we don't have one of those on our tails. Or no, what does Gandalf say? And you better hope we don't have one of those on our tails. Okay, we made it. Next grace. Thank God. Kill. We're gonna level up because we can. Keep going for that endurance. We're gonna need it. All right. Because I said I would, we're gonna go and upgrade this bitch. Because it deserves it, man. It's so good. This is such a fantastic weapon. And even this thing looks good with this armor set. Are you kidding me? It looks just like the horns. Well, I took you for no man to lay out your own. All right. Yes. Yes. Too late to overthink it. All right. Cool. Wait a minute. Can we? Back on no matter. We can upgrade the jar cannon again. I'm. Oh yeah, that's a for sure yes. We 100% want to do that because the base damage goes up a lot every time you upgrade that thing. All right. You know, here, I want to... Hold on. There's something that's kind of bothering me. I need to go here and talk to this guy that's in Godric's boss room. So, like, when we talked to Nephili... I think that was the beginning of this episode, right? Nephili? Yeah. This guy is supposed to have something to do with her quest line, and this guy doesn't seem to want to leave, now, though. I can, can I? It doesn't sell anything new. Okay, fine. How about the... What about the other guy, then? Um, not there. He's at the the fort. Um, yeah, Kenneth. Okay. Let's go talk to Kenny. And yes, this is a super obscure thing to do at the beginning of this episode. This makes no sense at all right now, but, like, it's just bothering me, man. Like, I thought that the amount of stuff that we've done in this episode... I thought for sure she would have something new to say by now, but I guess not. Maybe we gotta go talk to him again? I don't know. They should put the they should have put a grace right up where he is, though. So you don't have to make this dumb run. Stay down. None of you want any of this, I swear. I can land it. 
Come on. There we go. Even after seeing that. Still? That ought to do it. Oh, I can't help it. Hold on. Let me see if I can... Yeah! That was satisfying. <laughs> well, club! The baby bonk! I must begin my search for a true... Really? Do I have to beat, like... Do I have to beat Godfrey for real or something? Or not Godfrey? Yeah, it's Godfrey. Maybe I gotta beat him for real. I don't know. Hold on a second. I'm curious. What's our attack with this thing right now? 821. So even though this is a colossal weapon and it's at plus 10, it's got a D, a B, and a C. It does not have the damage of it. Oh, okay, that's why. This thing has a whole ass letter advantage on this thing. Yeah, 821 versus... It's the same? Damn, dude. It shouldn't be. This is a colossal weapon. This weighs four units more. This should be stronger. It should. That's... Wow, okay. Weird. Um... I can't think of anything else I wanted to do in this episode. I mean, I think we're... I think we're sitting pretty good, man. We've made it to that grace. We can, uh... Well... I guess I could... Kill that Erd Tree Avatar, maybe? Just as, like, a last little thing, you know, in our episode. <laughs> Just to celebrate that we've made it to the... 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 The, the Elfiel Inner Wall. I think that's where we just got. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a celebration, you know? It's a celebration, bitches! Enjoy yourself. Alright, let's do this. I think this Frenzied Flame attack is gonna be best for this guy, so let's just roast him! Oh, yeah. Ah! Break his poise, damn it! Why isn't it working? God. Oh, God! Not good. Not good. Bubble, protect me. You're so dead. You're dead. You're dead! There we go. Alright. We got a Lord's Rune. And I guess... That went a lot faster than I thought. I'm just gonna rest at the Grace. You know why? Because... Ooh. I wish he could get through there. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm gonna rest the Grace because he doesn't respawn. So now we can go clean these knights up that are out here. Because they are a problem. Really hate them a lot. You'll see why. Okay, we'll get rid of these guys first. Okay. And then... There's one, and then there's the other. I think I want to go for this guy first. Give me the backstab! Oh god, he's coming for me. Yep. Oy, these guys are the worst. Ah! Somebody's shooting magic at me right now? <sighs> Damn it. Whoa, the delay. Oh, what? That guy is magic? I didn't know that. Oh, God. No! No! God. Ugh. How annoying. So that's how you don't deal with that. What was supposed to happen was I was supposed to get backstab on that guy. And, of course, they put his back to a wall so he can't. But that's all right. We know exactly how to deal with these guys. This is another... Uh, what do you call it? Um, 
guy. Don't go over there. Nope. Um, you'll see why next time. What are those guys called? The uh, Banished Knights? Just like the Banished Knight that was in Castle Soul. Um, notice how that guy killed me like so fast every time and there was like no room for error? Well, it's because we didn't do it right. We'll do this. Come on! Do you see that? Do you see how trivialized this game is with Taker's Flame? What are you doing? Don't shoot me with an arrow. I literally just said don't do that. Yeah. Different strategy, huh? Get up. Get up. You are nothing in the face of this sword. No one is. Give me that sacramental bud. I don't even know what to do with that thing. Alright. Ballista guys up there are back. We're going to need to deal with them before we do anything. So... Let's do this. We should be able to hit them. Yes, heat be my blast works well. And the only reason it's working is because, again, that attack is a it's a piercing attack. It'll go through enemies. Which we've thick swollen veins that we've taken advantage of quite frequently on this playthrough. And otherwise. We still gotta get up there. Otherwise, it is uh, able to go through objects too. So, like, we're able to get it through here. This guy's sitting. I like him better that way. You're joking, right? And this guy just doesn't hear any of it. Like, you're over here just running around, like, nah, 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 nah. this guy doesn't even care. But somebody else does problematically. Well, y'all thought you had me? That's funny. Okay. No, sir. I invented the guard counter. All right, what do I want to do here? Oh, God. What do I want to do here? How do I want to do this? I know we still have to go down and deal with the revenants. Which is a huge pain in the ass. That's like a part that I'm not looking forward to at all. Um, we can take the ladder down to deal with them, I think. But that's going to have to wait till next time. I really just wanted to clear this courtyard and get these last couple items that were strewn across the bridge. We don't need to get over there technically where that scarab is because I don't think there's an item over there. But the problem is there's stuff up there. We need to get up there. So we're going to have to backtrack a little bit, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to use whatever that, that route is to get up there. And then, All right. I know what to do. But that's going to have to wait till next time. So I think we did all right. The only time we died so far to any of these enemies is uh, just against those badass knights. But again, those guys are like tough. Like they're designed to be overwhelmingly difficult, similar to that banished knight with the red eyes and castle soul that just wrecks you in one usage of his special attack. They're sort of a similar effect. You have one that uses like magic imbuement on the spear and can shoot stuff at you. And then the other one will cast like the holy attack and we'll do like a thrusting delayed sweep combo that will just two-shot you. They're tough, man. They're every bit as hard as he is, and there's two of them. So, had a feeling I was going to get wrecked on that part, only because I didn't need to fight them, but I needed those items on the bridge. So, I think we're good, though. So thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of the end-up playthrough of Elden Ring. Before I forget, I'm going to change the Ash of War on this shield back to our beloved shield barricade which we're going to need 
for sure, especially through that room. We're going to need it. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate everybody following me this far, 96 parts now <laughs> into this adventure, some ridiculousness. We're definitely going to go over 100, but it's going to be worth it, man. This has been an awesome playthrough. I'm having a blast, and I really enjoy this particular level that we're in. This, uh, this part of the level is dreadfully <laughs> difficult, but like in a good way. The enemies are super strong. You have to know what you're doing. You got to be smart. You got to use basically every single good strategy that you have learned in a Souls game up to this point, you're going to need to employ here or else you're done. You're not going to make it through, especially against the boss. So I think it's going to be great, but we're closing in, man. We're about to show the uh, alleged hardest boss in Elden Ring that she's really not all that. She's not hot shit. She is like less than 10% of that and a bag of potato chips. So it's going to be great. But thanks so much for joining me on today's episode. I've been your faithful host. Let's play Dark Souls HD, and I will catch you guys on Friday.